Jackie's Buzz, coming to you not so live from New Haven, Connecticut. Jackie's Buzz. Hi, I'm Jackie with Jackie's Buzz, and I'm here with the lovely Mary Jones from WDRC Radio. Nice to talk to you, Mary. It is so nice to see you again, Jackie. And we Jackie. finally get to actually discuss, because we keep, you know, missing each other. That's right. Yes. <laughs> now, you have two radio stations on air, correct? Can you well, tell two, us a little? Two radio shows. Two, two radio shows. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah, two radio shows. <laughs> yes, not two radio stations. That's right. I'm confused with radio stations. <laughs> two radio shows. Tell us a little bit about, I know one of them is... Um, your signature line is believe in yourself, and yes. I caught on to that right away because oh. I'm a big positive person. I know you are. Yes. I know. I love that about you, Jackie. Oh. One of the many things that I just love That's about you. One thing in common, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sure more than one, yes. but we'll yes, start yes, with that yes. one. <laughs> so but tell yes. us a little bit about how that came about, your whole signature style. And the, that the really is, as you mentioned, the signature sign up to my show, The Mary Jones Show, which is on WDRC AM, and it's four affiliate stations in Connecticut. Oh. I've been doing this show for nine years, wow. and when I started the show, it's a very, really woman-oriented talk show, talking about issues of daily, daily life, very positive, very upbeat, no politics, no controversy per se, and I wanted to come up with a sign-off. You know, most talk shows have a sign-off. Yes. Wanted to come up with one that had great significance to me, and hopefully, over time, would develop some significance to my listeners, and it took me about half of a nanosecond <laughs> to think of believing yourself, that long, because huh? those three words have always been for me very powerful, wow. very um, significant in terms of, you know, when I think of them, this has been true for me for my adult life, I really get goosebumps, as corny as that sounds, oh, that's in, nice, in terms of really recognizing the power that we all have within us. If we have, if we give ourselves and have given the, been given the gift to the, every little boy and every little girl in this country of that deep inner belief in themselves, that when they really understand they have that, when they really embrace that, their life can unfold, our life can unfold in ways that we never even imagined. Wow, that's really deeply powerful. Yeah. Now, well, when did you find this out, or were you always this way? Or? Well, I've always been a kind of positive person, but I've, I've reinvented myself three times in my life. <laughs> my first career, I have a master's in social work and I was a social worker for about 10 years or so, a psychiatric social worker, school social worker, and the last six years of that part of my career, um, the director of a statewide United Way agency. And so I, back then I remember thinking that, okay, you know, we all have so much more control over our lives than we realize, mm -hmm. and we have so much more control over our lives than we take advantage of. So that has always been something that has always hit home for me, oh, that's for whatever so nice. reason. And that's um, a big influence, I think, in young kids. They need that influence nowadays, oh, desperately, right? <laughs> well, it's interesting. There was a um, survey done about a year and a half ago, and I've forgotten the name of the organization that did it. It was the National Survey. They spent a lot of money, a lot of time. They were looking at the root cause of crime. You know, crime, as we all know, is yes. on the upswing, unfortunately. They wanted to get to the root cause of crime. They assumed, before going into this and throughout it, they assumed the root cause of crime was going to be poverty. Oh. They found the root cause of crime, in fact, is low self-esteem. Wow. So we're talking wow. society-changing, life-changing factors. So going back to, yes, if every little boy and every little girl in this country was given that gift of that belief in themselves, oh my goodness, it would be a different world, literally. And what, do you have any tips for parents that are raising kids? How would they, how, would you have any tips to raise a positive child? Well, and I do. I'm, okay. I've never been a parent. I don't right. have any children. But I mean, so much of this is true for children and also for adults. You know, as I tell yes. women all the time, and men, men as well, but women do struggle with this a little more than a little yes. more than men um, and for women I say all the time I mean let's one thing let's let go of those what I call self-limiting factors you know think back to when you were a little girl mm -hmm. most people men and women were told by our parents our teachers our neighbors our siblings you know you're too fill in the yes. blank you're too tall you're too short you're too fat you're too thin right. you're not good at this you're not good at that and we tend to hang on to that self-limiting factor as I call it so for our don't entire do that with life. Your children, don't do that with your children. Reinforce and if, positively. Exactly. Okay. And if you are a grown adult, if you are a grown woman, you know, ask yourself, do I have any of those self limiting factors? 
My guess is you do because most of us do. Be Work those honest. out. Work those out. Be <laughs> honest with ourselves yes. and just take a look at that. And if you come up with one, realize that it probably was not ever based in reality back then. It certainly is not based in reality right now. So throw it out the window. I love it. Get rid of it. It I love that. No and real purpose. quick, we'll just give the name of your other radio show because we mentioned two shows. Yes, the other end. one is from nine to ten. It's called Leatherneck and Lace. I co-host it with um, Connecticut legendary broadcaster Brad Davis, oh. who is a former Marine, or I guess once a Marine, always a Marine. Wow. Hence the Leatherneck name. Lane. Oh, okay. So and tune into Mary Jones's two radio shows, nine to twelve. Is that correct? Right? Correct. Nine to twelve. Wonderful speaking with you. I can thank speak to you all evening, much. but thank, thank you, you very Jackie. much, Mary. And that's it for Jackie's Buzz.